This morning, a hoax that went horribly wrong. A missing Pennsylvania woman's lies had put her in the crosshairs of law enforcement. CBS News correspondent Priya David is in Southampton, Pennsylvania with the story. Priya, good morning. Julie, good morning to you. 38-year-old Bonnie Sweeten made up an elaborate story of kidnapping in order to skip town with one of her four children. Authorities say she may have fled because of domestic or financial troubles, but they say whatever the reasons, she will be held criminally responsible for her lies. Bonnie Sweeten's 911 calls fooled family and friends. It's very tragic and we just start crying. She even called her husband with the same story she told police, that she and her nine-year-old daughter, Julia Rakoski, had been abducted by two black men who forced them in the trunk of a car. She was crying at the time. She said that she was scared. She told her husband that she loved them and that if she never saw her children to tell them that she uh, loved them. But it was all a lie. Police say Sweeten had already cleaned out her bank accounts, stolen a friend's driver's license, and ditched her car. Surveillance cameras caught her at the airport, boarding a U.S. Airways flight to Florida with her daughter using her friend's name. Sweeten's husband begged her to return. Everybody's here to support you. Whatever it is, we'll work through as a family. We're going to stick together through this. We're going to raise our baby together. I love you, Bob. Just turn yourself in. Please come home. But 24 hours later, law enforcement found Sweeten and her daughter far from home, returning to their hotel at the Grand Floridian Hotel at Disney World. They had minimal luggage. Um, they had paid for the hotel room through the 29th. Sweeten is currently in custody in Florida, awaiting extradition back to Pennsylvania. Her daughter, Julia, is safe, and her father will hopefully pick her up later today. Julie. CBS's Priya David. Thanks, Priya. Joining us now are Bucks County District Attorney Michelle Henry and from Trevos, Pennsylvania, Jillian Jenkinson, the co-worker whose driver's license authorities say Bonnie Sweeten used to fly to Florida. Ladies, good morning. Good morning. Jillian, let me begin with you. How well do you know Bonnie Sweeten and why did you loan her your driver's license? Um, I know her pretty well. We worked together for nine years. Um, the reason she had my driver's license was due to a discrepancy with my 401k that she told me she needed to photocopy and fax my license to a new IRA. So it seemed innocent. Michelle, let me turn to you. What charges does Bonnie Sweeten face in this case? At this time, she's facing charges of false reports and identity theft. Do either of you ladies have any idea why Bonnie would lie to authorities and say that she and her daughter were abducted? Michelle? Well, investigators are still looking into the motive behind uh, this woman's uh, conduct, and um, we believe that it may have something to do with domestic problems and possibly financial issues she was having. Jillian, do you know anything about these reports, being that you're a coworker and friend of hers? No, I actually haven't been a co-worker since September of 2008. Michelle, let me turn back to you. What is the likely punishment for a crime like this? Well, investigators are still looking into other potential charges that she may be facing. Right now, she's charged with misdemeanors, and really the range of sentence um, could be anywhere from probation to jail time. Jillian, how would you describe Bonnie, and, and do you know what kind of mother she is? We know that she has a total of three kids at home, including an eight-month-old baby. Right. She's a good mother. She's you know, always on top of things. She's the most organized person in the world. She's always taking them to their extracurricular activities, you know, dance and sports and things. So what do you think of what she's being accused of? I have absolutely no idea. Does it sound totally I, I out of character for her? Yes, yes. Michelle, let me turn back to you. Did Jillian do anything illegal by loaning her ID to a friend? No, we believe, and, and, and I think that she was told a story that this woman had created that sounded plausible, and based on that, she trusted her. And as a result of that, um, this woman took her ID and used it to, to book a flight to uh, Orlando. And she'll get her ID back with no problem? Yes. Jillian, what are you going to say to Bonnie when you finally get to see her? 
I think whatever's going on in her life is a way bigger issue than my ID. So, I don't know. I mean, I, I hope that she's okay. Jillian Jenkinson, Bucks County District Attorney Michelle Henry. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you.